Hey there everyone, it's been a while since I made a vid, but um, this is one on hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, I'm not quite sure I've managed to run a ukulele channel for quite so long without making a video on hammer-ons and pull-offs, but here we are and we're going to do it. Um, for this lesson, we're going to need to be closer up, so I'm going to move into the camera so we can kind of see what my left hand is doing. Um, but let's get to it, let's get these hammer-ons and pull-offs nailed. So I've moved a little bit closer in and the first one we're going to learn to play today is the hammer-on. Um, the hammer-on is a technique that allows you to get more than one note from picking once. So if I pick this bottom string once, see if I drop my third finger on there. You hear that I'm only plucking the string once but I'm getting two notes out of it. So one, two. So it sounds quite easy, but it actually takes a little bit of practice. So what we're going to do for the purpose of this lesson is we're going to use our third finger. Um, so we're going to use our third finger, we're going to use it on the bottom string of the third fret. So we're going to do exactly what I just did, and we're going to pluck that bottom string, and then as soon as you've plucked it, and you can hear that noise, we're going to drop our third finger down very quickly onto the third fret. And you have to be pretty quick with this. Um, and the reason you have to be quick is if you do it slow, you, will, you won't get the tone, you won't get the, the sound. Like that. You hear it just disappeared? Okay, I'm not going quite quick enough, whereas if I go quickly... You've got to be quite quick and forceful. And I'd aim right for the very tip of your finger if you can. And make as clean a contact as you can. And be really purposeful with it. It's going to take a little bit of practice. You probably won't have the dexterity in this third finger quite to start with, but they quite often are played with your third finger or hammer off some pull offs. So um, we're going to work on our third finger for a little bit. So let's just try that on a few different strings. So let's start with the, uh, the E string. So pluck it, hammer down. I'm going to do the A string. Okay, so practice that for a little bit. It's going to take a bit of getting used to it. Throw it into your practice sessions every time while you're getting used to it. Just do one minute or so. That should be enough. Um, so we have been working with our third finger. But we're going to mix it up a little bit. Sometimes you don't always work with your third finger. Sometimes you might want to hammer on from an already fretted note. So in this instance, we're going to fret uh, the second fret. And we're going to hammer on with our second finger onto the third fret this time. Sounds a bit like Jaws. Okay, just try that. So we're going to pluck that second, uh, that bottom string on the second fret. And drop our second finger down quite hard so we get that sound and you can practice this all over the fretboard and I would recommend using all of your fingers to practice it um, what I tend to do is if I'm hammering onto the next fret up I use the second finger if I'm missing a fret so if it's the second fret up so one two I use my third finger and likewise I just kind of use a finger for each one And that's actually quite a good little practice technique. So let's just do a run from the bottom up. So I'm starting on the uh, on the top string, on the G string. I've got my first finger fretted there on the first fret. Now likely, you're going to find your little finger is the weakest at this. Um, and that's because you haven't really developed the dexterity in it. I would recommend trying to get to grips with the little finger. as well as the others. But I maybe would concentrate on my third finger a little bit more than the rest. It tends to be the one that plays more hammer-ons than any other uh, finger, but as I said, they're all pretty good for this. So that's hammer-ons. You won't get them in one go. They will take some practice and they'll be quiet at first. You might just hear a little audible trace of that second note. That's good enough to start with. 
as you develop and as you practice these more, you'll get that sound better and better. Sometimes you might even be able to make the second note louder than the first, but it will take some doing. So hammer-ons are not only found in playing individual notes, Sometimes you hear them in chords, so I'm going to play a little strumming pattern that's got a hammer on it. You hear that? So I'm playing, I've got my first finger on the first fret of the E string. And what I'm doing is I'm just hammering on to the second fret of the G string. So they're quite useful in chords as well as um, little solo runs and little flourishes. Um, so it's a useful technique to learn. On to pull-offs then. So pull-offs are a little kind of the opposite of hammer-ons. So you start on a note. This time I'm going to start on that third fret there. And we're just pulling that note down. So as I'm plucking that, that note there, that C note. So plucking that, and then I'm just pulling this finger downwards and off the string. Actually for years when I played guitar, I didn't really know how to do a pull off properly. Clues in the name. What I would do is just lift my finger up. And it's okay, but you've got to be very purposeful with that. Whereas if you pull down a little bit, like you're plucking the string itself, you get a much louder noise, sometimes too loud. So let's give that a try. Third finger, third fret, bottom string. I'm going to pluck that note, then we're just going to pull down and off. That's it. Practice that a few times. And we're going to do that on another string, so we'll do that on the, uh, the E string. A little bit more difficult on the um, A string because we can't just pluck down and right across because we're going to end up hitting this A string. So we have to pluck down without getting that other string. We don't want to end up with that noise going on. We just want to. So again, uh, a lot of pull offs are played with your third finger. Um, but again, we have to practice them all, and it doesn't always go to an open string. So this time, I'm going to put our third finger on fret 5, and we're going to put our first finger on the third fret. And we're going to pull off from our third finger, so we get this going on. What I'm doing there is combining hammer-ons and pull-offs, so I'm just playing the note once, pull-off, hammer-on, pull-off, hammer-on. Quite a nice little technique to kind of practice both. Again, pull-offs can be any finger, so sometimes you might see it spanning quite a few frets. Uh, in this instance here, I'm going from the third fret to the sixth fret there. Doesn't sound great, but the practice uh, is still good. Sometimes you'll see more than one. So I'm going to pull this finger off, and then I'm going to pull this finger off in this one. You can get some quite funky stuff going when you're playing hammer-ons and pull-offs. I just like to play around with this, uh, these pull-offs just going. So keep practicing those. I'd recommend do a minute each day or each practice session. Um, 
practice, I would probably say for your both hammer-ons and pull-offs, I would maybe start the third fret and hammer on to the fifth. Maybe do one at the fourth with your second finger. And let's do one at the sixth with your uh, pinky. Now do the opposite. So let's pull off with them all. Uh, don't rush it either. Um, take your time with these. No need to be trying to get at full speed straight away. Just take it nice and steady. Get them sounding really good. And move it on just slowly and shortly. You will get there with these. And they can add a real extra dimension to your playing. Well, that was just a short lesson on hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hopefully you will start to get to grips with the technique following that lesson. There is more information on my website which is linked to in the description down there. If you find this useful, please subscribe to the channel or drop me a comment or something like that. Um, it all helps. Uh, I'll be back soon with more videos. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you soon.